Hey y'all, this is Joe out here at the cabin at St. Bernard Acres. This is Wednesday, uh, the 15th of January, and pretty cold. <laughs> it, uh, I mean, it's supposed to get up to 50 today, low 50s. So, today's project, I've got these windows that I've never caulked on the outside or uh, put the trim around so I'm going to be doing the outsides of these windows today and hopefully setting the door get it finished up and get all the trim around the outside of the door but I got here about an hour ago I'm waiting for the temperature outside to get above 40 it just hit 40 because uh, that's when the caulk you know you're not supposed to be caulking uh, less than 40 with this stuff. So it hit it. I'm going to go out and get started now. I did want to show you inside the cabin when I got here an hour ago it was 32. And I hooked up my big buddy Mr. Heater there uh, to the big propane tank. No, it, the tank should not be inside but until I get everything figured out it's far enough away. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Let's see. Yeah, I got here. I hooked up the heater at 12:09. It's 12:57 now, and it went from 32 to I don't know 54, 55, somewhere in there. Uh, in an hour, it went up you know over 20 degrees inside the cabin here now I have everything finally insulated and closed off so that's helping a lot but I, I feel good you know in an hour to go up almost 25 degrees with that little heater right there so it's a keeper <laughs> until I get the wood stove installed this will do me just fine out here on cold mornings but let me get to work. I'll be back with you all later. All right, let me see what I need to cut my one by fours at. I get them up here. Let's go with 29 and a half. So, the idea is I'm gonna cut two boards that'll fit in here and then the top and the bottom that expands out a little bit from them you'll see I need two of them right now at 29 and a half I'm using two and a half inch galvanized screw shank nails to put these up with. So, let's see what we get here.
What the is this? Seriously? So, what I did here, <laughs> I went to Lowe's and bought a bunch of one by four uh, lumber to do trim around the windows because everything I've ever done as far as windows go, the windows I've done anyway, I've done a lot, but it was three quarter inch you need to slide in those vinyl windows because they're not casement windows. These are like oddball windows that you know they're not standard windows but it's what I could afford and they were real cheap so I bought them and I think these were supposed to have gone in the framing before I put the siding on because I need one inch one buys to go around the windows to fit inside to seal it all and caulk it with the trim so these three quarter inch boards won't work you can't buy true one inch. I mean, this is a one by four. It's three quarter inches by three and a half inches. So, all of this can be returned to Lowe's. <laughs> I, I called the guy that milled the beams for me on the inside there. Because uh, he's about six or seven miles from here. To see if I could order some him to mill me some one by three and a half pine, um, because you can't buy it. You can't buy actual one inch dimensional lumber. So I called and left a message for him to give me a call. And I'm like, wow, I wasted my time coming out here. What I did was go down to the barn, go through all my old pallet wood, and I found enough pallet wood that is. One, one inch by three inch, three and a half inch. Some of it's three and, you know, a little over. It's all rough cut, but I can do the top and bottom, be a little bit bigger. Uh, this is rough cut oak. Actual one inch. And I'm like, how perfect is that? Free, you know, I'm going to paint it, obviously. Uh, but... It's uh, it's exactly what I needed. Unbelievable. Right into free pallet wood. So, I'm going to cut some now and do a window and show you what that looks like uh, with my pallet wood stuff. So, here we go. Makes a nice tight fit too. That's 30 
and a half. I think I'll go with uh, maybe an inch over on each side. So I'll go with 32 and a half. Good and tight. I think uh, that gives it a very rustic feel. I like it. It's not supposed to be perfect. I like that. I can live with that. All right, now get up caulk around that, paint it when we paint the siding, and it'll be good. I'll be darned. Not bad for pallet wood. <laughs> and free. I like the, I think I like the rustic look. I think that's pretty good. That's about as rustic as it gets. I like it. Got to do it around the air conditioner. But I can use the regular one bias for that. I don't have to worry about any more of the actual one inch dimensional lumber. So, that's perfect. I like it. Hope y'all like it. 
but using recycled pallets for the window trim. Now, I'll, uh, you don't need to watch me finish nailing them in and caulking everything. And I'm about to run out of battery. So, this is Joe out here at the cabin at St. Bernard Acres. Remember, like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. I'm out.